Hey YouTube, um, basically I've just got my GoPro Hero 3 White Edition. I uh, had it open and yeah, had a bit of a fight with it um, before now. And I'm just going to do an, an opening for YouTube. So basically I'm doing this with one hand, please bear with me. It's pretty simple, I've took the, box, the casing off. It did come with... This box on top of there. So, yeah, that's off. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is to get the camera off the box. And it's pretty much stuck on there. So, basically, the line's shh, rubbish. I don't know. There we go. There, there we go. Okay, so on the back of the GoPro... On the kitchen on top of the box, there are two clips here that put in. And if you push these in and push the camera forwards at the same time, that should happen. And I'm just going to keep on pushing it forwards with my finger. And it just pops off. Okay, so yeah, that's what, most, that's what the mounts are like that come in the box. So, yeah, there's two of those. So, yeah, that's that. Your stuff's inside the box, okay? So, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later on. So, this is the camera with the mount to it. To it. And it's currently inside the waterproof casing. The camera's inside the waterproof casing. Um, so, yeah, to get the camera out of this waterproof casing... If you can see, there's an arrow on the top facing left, which moves left. And there's also an arrow there facing up. So what you do is at the same time push that there and lift that up. So the whole thing, the whole black thing goes up. Okay. So when you push this left that way, don't put pressure on it pushing it down because you'll never get it up. So that, I'm going to do this with one hand. Oh, crap. Okay. So, okay. Let's do it this way. There we go. Wow. And then that unclips off the back. Like that. And it opens and the GoPro just falls out. Oh my god. It's so small, it's unreal. I can't get over it. I do have small hands. In fact, I've got very small hands. And, well... Yeah. So that should go. Pure. It comes with that in the mode, and it comes with the rod. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Get the battery out. This little bit. Pull to the side and just tilt it, and this will come out like that. Push that back in for now. So yeah, that's your GoPro Hero unboxed. That waterproof casing. You also get this is the back of the case, the waterproof casing, and this is solid plastic. So if you're using the mic that is on the camera already at the top there, inside while it's in, inside the waterproof casing, you'll be better off. You'll be better off using. The backing that comes with it, it has two holes missing. So, just bear with me a minute. Let me put this back on the back of the uh, GoPro. Push that on. So, that's, that's on. Lovely job there. So, yeah. That's your GoPro. That's your waterproof casing. Let's close it back up. Put that on there properly. Push that down. So that's your waterproof casing. So let's come to the contents of the box. So here we have the opening bit. Let's just open that and 
stand it up. Open this. This is really difficult doing it with one hand. I'm so sorry. So. The first thing is. Three. Upstairs. You could put them anywhere you want. Messy. So yeah. So. The thing is. I don't currently know what that's for at the moment, so I'm sorry I tell you that. It's very flimsy though. I don't know. Probably for a reason. But that come came with two of the mounts. You get one that's curved a little bit, and you get one that is straight. So you can stick. So they you you take this off and it sticks like a, an adhesive mount and that if you can see is exactly the same as what you got on the top of the box so the way you took the camera off the top of the box is exactly the same way how you'd use these adhesive mounts so yeah one's curved so I have my helmet here you could put one on top of the helmet and stick it on. I don't. I haven't took the sticky bit off. So yeah, you could have one there, and then another one somewhere else. So yeah, that's them. What else do we have in here? We have this is the other case for the back of the waterproof casing so this at the minute is waterproof to I think it's 60 meters this case is fully waterproof to 60 meters because that's a solid back but this I haven't quite unopened yet because I'm not really interested in it but for the unwrapping sake of it for the video for you guys, especially for you, this has two holes in it, and there's one reason for this, and that is, yeah, Buster, and this is because with this on, the mic on the GoPro works better. You can hear the audio better whilst it's inside the case with this backing on but this obviously makes it not waterproof so yeah so yeah there's a waterproof back and there's a non waterproof back and the non waterproof back makes the audio much better um, there's one downfall with this which is what I bought it for really and that is um, you can't use an external mic, which goes in there, with the waterproof casing on, because obviously it's a solid case and the camera's inside it, so you can't use the external mic and have it waterproof at the same time, which is a bit poop, and I know a few people have drilled holes in the side of the waterproof casing, but I won't be doing that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much about it. This 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 bit here, I've took it off, but it actually has. What I've done with it? Yeah, I've put it inside this bit. It actually has a cover that comes with it. It's really hard doing all this with one hand, and that obviously goes there to stop any uh, water getting in it so yeah it's a very small camera the, the um, I'll switch it on it's very easy to use so to switch it on this button here you hold for a couple of seconds the light will flash and this record thing will come up 
on this, I don't think you can see it properly, but obviously it's saying no SD card. It's also saying above the no SD card that I am recording. No, you can't see it. I'm recording on my phone, that's why. Um, it also says that when I start recording with the GoPro, it'll be 1080 by 30, which is the highest definition thing you can get. And it's also saying that my battery's low, which is to be expected because it's brand new. And to go through your menu, you press the mode button, which is here. And you change the camera and time lapse and settings. So if I go to settings, which is that, and I select it using this button here, which is the record button. So I'll select settings and then I'll move across with the mode button. And it actually came with the sound switched on. So it would beep every time I selected a setting. To select things, you press that. To move through things, you press the mode button. It's really simple, so select. Move across, move across, move across, move across, move across. Sound, select. You have it 100%, 70% or off. I've obviously got it off, so I'll select. And then I'll come off, keep going through till I get to exit. Keep going through till I get to exit. And then I'm back onto the recording section of it. So yeah, to turn it off, keep that pressed. And it's off. It's quite simple, once you know how. So yeah, that's the unpacking of the GoPro Hero 3 white edition. And I don't know what the difference is between the different color editions, but yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry if I've rambled on about stuff you're not interested in. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll bring you reviews on everything that I use. So thanks very much. Bye.